Hello friends, today we are going to discuss a topic need for programming language. So as we know computer works on a set of instruction. So if you want a computer to perform a task, we give them a set of, we give computer a set of instruction and computer follows those instruction and give us the result. So programming language is basically a way to communicate with the computer. So I can give you an analogy like a person A wants to interact with person B, he can do it in plain English. So for example, a person A can say add 3 and 5. Now the person B can understand what this person A is trying to convey and can revert back to him saying that the sum is 8. Now imagine a scenario where person A is trying to interact with a computer. Now uh, computer doesn't understand English. So what is a way to for person A to interact with computer? It should write a code in a particular programming language which basically implies add 3 and 5. Now the computer will understand what the code means, what uh, like it will understand the programming language and it will revert back to the person saying that sum is 8. Now like any other language that we usually speak, uh, computer understands multiple languages. Uh, so there are multiple languages available like Java, C++, C, Python, etc. So in this course, we will be only focusing on C++. And uh, in the further section, we'll explain what C++ is and uh, in the uh, like all our snippets will be in C++ only. So uh, one thing I want to point out is there is a common misconception that if you uh, have a proficiency in C, then only you can move on to C++. So it's completely false. Like in the upcoming section, you will also realize that even if you don't understand C, you can start working on C++. Thank you.